Try to fully inhabit your body, fully inhabit your breath. The type of concentration we're trying to develop here is a full body awareness. That kind of awareness is stable. If your concentration is one-pointed, as soon as you change the point, the concentration is spoiled. But if you've got the whole body as your object, then thoughts can come in and go out, but they don't have to disturb the foundations. It's like a person walking in and out of a building. The fact that the person is in the building doesn't destroy the building, doesn't shake its foundations. That's the kind of quality you want, because when you fully inhabit your body with your awareness, then any other thoughts that come in, you know they're there. And they can't take over. And John Lee talks about being possessed by greed, aversion, and delusion. It's like they sneak in and suddenly they're in charge. You get pushed out. At least your best interests get pushed out. They take over. Then when you've done something under their power, then they leave. And you're the one left. And John Lee talks about spirits entering people. Drinking, drinking, drinking. Someone who's never drunk before, suddenly when the spirit's in them, will drink. And then when the spirit's left, then the, the person, the original inhabitant of the body, is drunk. Suffers the hangover. So you want to fully inhabit your body so that when greed comes, you know it's there, and you don't let it take over. When anger comes, you know it's there. And when you're fully aware, then even when delusion begins to sneak in, you begin to recognize it. That's when you're fully in charge. Nothing else can push you out. Because otherwise, who knows what's going to come in and whisper into your ear. And John Lee talks about the little beings that live in your bloodstream, little germs. And then there are the spirits that you can't see, and they come, sometimes come and whispering by, too. You want to be solid and not easily shaken in the face of these things. Any thought that comes into the mind, you have to ask yourself, is this really in my best interest? If it's not, then say, well, it's maybe somebody else's thought. You don't have to carry it around with you. You don't have to act on it. That way you don't become their zombie. You know those animals, like the spiders that lay their eggs in the brain of another animal. And the other animal is still alive, but it starts acting in strange ways, to the advantage of the spider eggs, and not to its own advantage. This is one of the appeals of zombie movies, is you think about people overcome by greed, overcome by aversion, overcome by delusion. It's like they're zombies. And you want to make sure that you're one of the people who's still alive and still fully in charge of your actions, your thoughts, your words, and your deeds, making sure that they do lead to the kind of happiness you want. And the first step in that direction is to get so you can fully inhabit your body, fully inhabit your breath. If you're going to be possessed, be possessed by discernment. Be possessed by concentration. Because those things are in your actual best interest. <laughs>